And here's the result of my wife threatening to buy plant stands from Ikea. Hey guys, welcome back. Thanks for checking out another one of my videos. This project for me was a total win. I've been doing a lot of bigger projects lately, so having something like small like this that I could knock out in a few hours was just awesome. By no means am I the first person to come up with a planter stand like this. This is a pretty common modern planter stand design. But let me break it down for you a little bit. All you've seen me do so far is rip my materials down into one by two stop. I made marks in the middle, at the top and the bottom, and then I measured down six inches from the top corner. That helped me establish the angle for the top of the leg and gave me a registration point where I could measure down an additional two inches for the center stretcher and then to sort out the angle for the bottom half of the leg. So I built three planter stands at the same time, all at different heights. To keep all my angles consistent and the same, I used Starbond to create a quick and dirty table saw sled that I could knock down and redo for each of the different leg lengths. Now if you are interested in building a set of these planter stands for yourself, I will have plans available on my website and there's a link for that below. When I was done with one set of legs, I could bang off the stops and get set up for the next. I used half lap joints to join the center stretchers of the legs together. So what you see me doing here is just marking out my centers so I could figure out my heights for my dado stack. Somehow my dado stack got out of square, as you can see here. Luckily I was sneaking up on the joint, so I was able to fix this later on. Speaking of fixing things, I made all of the center stretchers for all three planters the same length, and I wasn't really happy with the scale. So I set up a stop block so I could cut off even pieces on each sides on two of the three sets of planters. I had a total brain fart when I was trying to lay out the heights for the legs and I kept messing around with these trying to hold them in place loosely so I could mark out where I would add the spots for my dominoes. And every time I would touch it, it would slip out of place. I eventually woke up and remembered that I could use a clamp to hold something in place. Really want to say thanks for checking out this video and for following me along on this journey. If this is your first time here, I'd love to see you hit that subscribe button or hit that like button. If you have any questions about any of the materials or the tools that I'm using, feel free to put those in the comments below. I used 10 by 50 dominoes to join the center stretchers to the legs. I designed these to be a flat pack style and I'll show you how that works later on in the video. After a dry assembly, when I was happy with the fitment of everything, I started gluing and clamping everything together. Once all the glue was dry, I was able to come back and do all my finish sanding on all the pieces for the planter stands. I personally don't shy away from using wood that has imperfections in it. I find it adds way more character to a piece and it shows that it's something that wasn't just purchased off the shelf. One of the products that Starbond sent me was this tinted CA glue. This is perfect for filling small imperfections and cracks, so you don't have to mix up a bunch of epoxy when you're working quickly through a project. If you're interested in learning more about Starbond and all their products, I did put an affiliate link below, as well as a discount code for your first purchase. I used my block plane to add a small chamfer to the bottom of all the legs, which turned out to be a waste of time because I added a heavy chamfer on all the sides with my router. This might have been a waste of time as well, but I marked out where the half laps overlapped on the center sections, so when I was routing, I wouldn't run over these sections. I mean, don't get me wrong, it looks good, but there's going to be a plant sitting on this, so you'll never see it. So after I had added a 45 degree chamfer to everything and just did some cleanup sanding, I was ready for finish. And the finish I used was Maker Brand Simple Finish, and it literally is that, simple. It's a hard wax, so you literally just wipe it on, wait for it to dry, and then wipe off any of the excess. And just like that, the plant stands were done.
So as I said earlier, these are a flat pack design. So it makes it super easy just to break these down and move them and store them wherever they're needed. So I just use what I had on hand for this project. It can be built out of multiple materials and really I wish I would have been able to use some different color contrasting wood just to make the plant stands just pop a little bit more in our space. Being a woodworker we have lots of different furniture of lots of different species of wood so I think it would have been good just to mix it up with a couple different colors and variations in grain. But hey some of the best projects I've built have come out of materials that I just have on hand. So if you're interested in building these plant stands, I have put a link below to my website where you can find a set of plants to be able to build your own. I've got some exciting builds coming up over the next few months, so hopefully you've subscribed and hit that notification bell. In the meantime, I've queued up some of my older projects for you to check out. Thanks for coming along guys, see you next time.